Time is now 523. Welcome back to go. OK, we are one week into our month long clear the shelters campaign and bringing that new pet home is just the beginning of the journey with the goal being years of bonding and companionship. I know there's nothing like it. And mm -hmm. when it comes to dogs, that does take some work. We know this very well <laughs> to make sure that the very best of your life is together to help ensure a positive start. We hit up our friendly Ready Pet Go trainer for some advice. Lindsay Buckingham reports. You've done your homework and checked all the boxes, choosing the right pup to fit your life. So what comes next? The answer? A lot of nothing. You want to give them what we call a decompression period. For me, that's about two to three weeks of time. Valerie Ross Smith of Sits and Wiggles Dog Training says that includes no outside visitors, no trips to dog friendly places or big outings. And take extra care during outdoor time. That's when many new dogs can go missing. So even if you do have a fenced backyard and you think it's secure, we're still going to take them out on a leash or have that additional tether. If we're taking them out for a walk. I like having two points of contact, usually a waist leash to a collar and then a regular six foot leash down to their harness. Enrichment toys help serve as distressors. Licking, sniffing and foraging bring down a dog's heart rate, respiration and cortisol levels. And as you get to know your new fur baby, consider some education for the both of you. This is going to help with the bonding. It's going to help learn, help teach you how to teach your dog the manners that you're looking for. At the Sits and Wiggles training facility, they focus not just on basic manners, but puppy classes to teach positive socialization. A socialization isn't just playing with other dogs, but it's also learning about the world around them, learning what a vacuum sweeper is, what a car is, um, and meeting other people. Dogs that don't conquer this can become reactive. Behaviors including lunging at passing cars or growling in situations they find stressful. We uh, lovingly call it have big feelings. It can be well managed and even to a point where the dogs can do a lot more dog friendly activities without responding that way. Giving a pet a home is a wonderful thing, but taking steps to support and nurture it for a lifetime is even sweeter. Lindsay Buckingham, 3 News.